Postcards are one of the most popular methods of marketing local and national businesses, and companies spend billions per year on mailing them to attract new customers. But I want to design the best postcard, something that's going to give me a big return on my investment. But first, we need to go over what makes a great postcard. So in order to have a great piece of marketing, we know we need to have three things. One, we need an irresistible offer. Two, we need a great call to action. And three, we need a system to track the leads as they interact with that offer. Now, right off the bat, I know the system that I'm gonna be using to track the leads. That's going to be Yobo, an online booking platform. And I'll share more about how I'm gonna use that later on in the video. Okay, so I have the tracking system. Now, what am I going to do for the offer? All right, so here's what I know about an offer. It's that it needs to be very enticing. Hey, how you doing? And when I take a look at a lot of different examples, a lot of these postcards are competing on price, so they're giving people discounts, and they're saying you can get 50% off, or 20% off, or your first service is free. I don't compete on price, so I don't wanna be doing that. There you go, no wonder he gets 300 an hour. So I need to find an offer that allows me to entice a customer so much that they're going to want to take advantage of that offer, of that deal that I'm giving them, without having to give them any discounts. So I need to figure out what that offer is going to be. All right, so I'm not going to compete on price. Not price. Second thing a lot of people do is quality. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of businesses that also speak on their quality and that they're the best quality out there and honestly i feel like there's a lot of cleaning businesses that provide the same type of quality we don't do anything that's above and beyond that makes it stand out in that area either so that we're not going to be doing quality so it's not price it's not quality maybe the booking process maybe we can do a booking process so let's go booking we're gonna put a question mark there because i don't know maybe the booking process could be something that makes it stand out Maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe we can focus not on the booking, but on creating a custom plan for every single person that requests a quote. Custom plan. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. On the postcard, pretend this is the postcard. What? I'm thinking that on the postcard, it's going to say something like, create, create a custom, home cleaning plan online today or maybe instead of create it'd be something like get because we would send it out to them so that kind of makes more sense get a custom home cleaning plan online today and the idea is that the homeowner that receives one of our postcards is going to be enticed to create a custom house cleaning plan for their home and then what we'll also do is add like a QR code here on the back of the postcard we'll put information about our company, but on the front, it's going to say, create a custom home cleaning plan online today. It all makes sense now. The homeowner is going to scan the QR code and it's going to take them to a web page where they can sign up to get a free custom plan, house cleaning plan for their home. And the difference is that we're not calling it a quote. So basically what we're going to be sending them is a quote, but we're not sending them a quote, we're sending them a plan. And I feel like a plan comes off more like something that's more personal, something that's more professional, something that's gonna make that homeowner think or feel like that plan or that quote that we put together for them is specifically for them, personal to them, so much so that they'll be very interested in actually starting that plan. And I also think that plan, the word plan here, really speaks on something you need in your life instead of something like a service that you possibly can get if you feel like getting it. Okay, so that's my offer. That's the gist. That's the plan that we're gonna go with. That is a fantastic idea. And now we need a call to action, something that's going to tell the homeowner, whoever got the postcard, what to do next. And I think what we can do is right next to the QR code, big text, get a custom home cleaning plan online today, and then QR code, scan here to get your plan. Nothing crazy, very simple. We don't want a lot going on anyways. Now we're on the computer here and I'm gonna start designing the whole concept that we just created on the little whiteboard. So let's get to work.
This is the design I have now. I took out the blue background and I put a photo as a background of a woman with her head down like this. As you can see, she's stressed. And, and then I put a, a blue bar at the bottom with information and the logo of our company. Um, at the top, I wrote, tired of coming home to a mess. Um, and then we have the get a free home cleaning plan so you can come home to a stress-free environment. Now, I don't feel 100% about this design yet. Um, and I've been working on it for kind of moving things around, working with things, and uh, I'm not 100% on it. And I'm gonna keep on working on it. But I wanted to show you guys what the process would look like if I were to create this and then plan on sending them out and how much it would cost. The mailing service that we're gonna look into is Vistaprint because they will print them out, label them, and then mail them out to all of the addresses in the mailing list. So I've gone ahead and uh, uploaded the design here, as you can see, and we're gonna go and click next. It's still cutting off here, but we're gonna continue anyways. This is just an example. Final steps, we're gonna keep it as the way that it is here. And at the bottom, we're gonna click on the quantity here. A thousand will be 53 cents per unit, so per postcard printing and it's going to come out to $522.37. And this includes the cost to mail the postcard and also the printing. So we're gonna select this quantity because we wanna send out 1,000. So I'm not gonna go any further because there's no point in doing that. The postcard size that we chose is five by seven. That's what we've designed here. It's gonna cost $522 to mail and print all of them. And what I would have to do is just provide the mailing list for them to send it to those addresses. They would label every single postcard, put the postage, mail them out to those addresses. As you can see, I didn't put in the QR code on the postcard yet, but I'm going to do that right now and show you guys exactly how I'm going to do it using Yobo, which is an online booking platform that I've created for home service businesses. And it's very easy to use. So right now we're on the homepage of Yobo and we're going to log in. Now we're on the dashboard. This is a demo account that I created for demonstrative purposes. So to get started, what we're going to do is create a service. Now we're gonna to go to your services here. And as you can see, I already have two created. You can also sign up for Yobo for free and use it for free and uh, have two services created on your account for free with no charge. Um, a lot of these features are limited on your account, but if you upgrade, uh, then you can unlock them all. But what we're going to do is we're gonna click on the deep cleaning here. Yeah, let's say the deep cleaning here in this example is the service that we're going to want people to book the quote for when they get that postcard. So what I'm going to do is take this URL here at the bottom and I'm going to copy it. What we're going to do is take that URL, go to a QR code generator, paste the URL, and then generate a QR code that sends the person with the postcard that's scanning that QR code directly to this online booking slash quote generator. Okay, so now we're on the QR code generator, and this is a free site for you to use. And what I'm going to do is just paste in that URL that we took on from Yobo. And on the right, it's going to generate that QR code. You're going to download this QR code and then you can put it on your postcard. Whichever platform you use to design your postcard, you can just take this QR code, download as a JPEG, and then paste it onto your design. And there you go, that's what the design looks like with the QR code right there in the corner. So anybody that scans that, we're gonna try that out with my phone here just to make sure it works. And just like that, we are on the website. And as you guys can see here, um, it has all the options that they can choose. I can choose one bedroom, and I can also go on to next, add kitchen, living room. And what will happen is they're gonna fill this quote request out, and then on our end, we'll get one, we'll get a notification on our dashboard that someone just requested a quote, and then we'll go and send them the plan, the custom plan uh, for their home. Now, you don't have to mail these out using the post office and the USPS and spending money to for postage. When I was just getting started with my business, I printed these out and I would go and hand them out directly to people going door to door or going to real estate offices or going to property management offices, handing them out in person, 
hoping to talk to the right person and getting a job. What I would do is just design them, I would put the QR code, and then I would go and try to talk to someone face to face to try to get those first clients of mine. And in another video, I'm going to purchase a mailing list for my target audience, and then I'm gonna mail out these postcards to that mailing list to try to get some clients, and I'm gonna record the whole process to show you guys how much money I make by sending out these postcards, what my return on investment is by going this route. I'll be making that video to show you guys how that process is. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like as well for the algorithm, and leave a comment down below any questions you, might, you guys might have about cleaning businesses, videos that you want me to do in the future, things that you want me to touch on. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.